Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with a new video and this time it's using my Tartlet and Bloom palette. I decided to do a half cut crease so if you want to figure out how to do this look then just keep on watching. So what I'm going to start off doing is I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyelids. Um, when I prime my eyelids, I usually just use my concealer. My eyes are a bit more dry right now, so I just like using the Urban Decay um, Naked Skin Concealer. I just like, I don't cover my whole lid in concealer. Um, and then I'm just going to get my concealer brush and I'm just going to buff out that whole concealer, bring it up to my eyebrows and buff all of this out. I've never done a talk through on my video. My video. <laughs> I'm going to take my Laura Mercier powder just to set um, my lid. Um, and I'm just gonna literally pat that all over my lid. The brush I'm using is my E30 by Morphe. So now that that is set, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that Tartlet and Bloom palette. I'm gonna be using this shade right here called Flower Child. And I'm just gonna use this color, same brush, to just go ahead and put that all over my eye. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Sweetheart, <clears throat> and it's like a like a matte, soft pinky tone. Makeup Shack T12 brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go in my lid and blend that out. And I'm just gonna go and do that in circular motions and put that on my crease. And I'm just gonna build up the color to the intensity that I like. So taking my M508 brush from Morphe, it's like a nice little thin flat flat shader type brush um, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my tarp shape tape concealer so now I'm gonna actually use this one to cut my crease because it gives you more of that matte finish you see where my crease is at which is right here I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of close my eye a bit and then lay it on that crease fold and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up because I have hooded eyes. And then wherever that transferred over to, I'm going to go ahead and build my cut crease off that. The reason why I'm doing this is because whenever I wear shadow and I don't like completely cut my crease up to the top, it transfers over to the top so I have like glitter everywhere. And I don't want that for this look. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and start cutting my crease. All right, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other crease. Now I'm gonna be taking my Makeup Shack T41 brush. This is how it looks, it's pretty flat. I'm gonna take this shade and put that all over the lid. Starting at my lid and then bringing it up. I'm just gonna take um, the shade Rebel and Leader. It's these two shades right here. I'm gonna take those two and then start putting those at the edge of my eye. I'm going to go in with Rebel first, which is that lighter burgundy brownish color. And I'm going to start putting that at the edge. So I'm just going to pack it on like that. And I'm just going to continue blending. And then I'm just going to go in with a uh, regular Anastasia brush and then I'm gonna use the fluffy end and take leader just dab it in dab it huh and then 
put that at the very, 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 very outer corner. Very. So I'm just going to be taking my Kat Von D liner and lining the other side as well. Um, for some reason, I feel like I didn't record my first eye. <clears throat> we just lined that top line. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. So I went ahead and popped on my falsies. Um, now I am going to do my base. Um, I'm, I'm going to start off with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Riser. Um, it's a primer and moisturizer all in one. This is going to be my first time trying it out. And just, um, I have some key benefits. It says this is a two-in-one powerhouse, delivers 24-hour hydration. Um, it soothes plumps and conditions. And then it's also a makeup magnet. It helps makeup go on flawlessly and last all day. It's lightweight, silky texture that absorbs is inst instantly. Um, so it does have hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. Um... It says apply one or two pumps to fingertips and smooth over face before makeup. Can be used with or in place of moisturizer. Um, I did go ahead and add moisturizer before. I didn't add too much, but my my skin was just feeling super dry. So um, it's still feeling dry though. So let's hope that this um, goes ahead. Ooh, it's really, really, it's really milky, like. Let's see how this goes. So I'm just gonna rub it in. And I think I did two pumps. I'm not sure. So it's really liquidy. It does feel lightweight. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. I am in the shade medium neutral. Usually it's my P zone that's really um, oily. So I just wanna see how this goes. It's really smooth, it goes on really easily. And then I'm just gonna use my Morphe M439. It's like that foundation brush that you see everyone on use on YouTube. It's a really good foundation brush, I really like it. Okay, so it blends out pretty nicely. I want to say it's more of a medium coverage. So far my on my cheeks, it looks really good. On my under eye as well. Now on my nose, it's doing pretty well so far. So I went ahead and blended out really nice on my skin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom through this really quickly. Get these done do the whole thing um, I really don't like blending out my concealer with a brush just because I feel like it leaves those little hair strokes on there so far the concealers and the foundation are doing pretty well together I don't see nothing too like weird I usually have like dry patches right here but it's not picking up on that I'm just gonna take a teeny sponge like this. These are like similar to the Beauty Blender ones, but not exactly it. Um, these are from Morphe. They come in like a three pack. And I'm just gonna go ahead and bake my under eye real quick before all this sets. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take this random fluffy brush and I'm just gonna set my whole face with that Laura Mercier powder. And that's the same powder I used to uh, bake under my eye. The foundation is getting a little bit shiny, but nothing too, too, too bad. Set my nose as well, because that's where I get the most oily. I really like this because it's fluffy and you can get like really under your eye. So, that's that. I'm going to go ahead and finish my face and then we'll see in a few minutes how this foundation is keeping up. Alright, so I went ahead and finished um, my actual face. 
and then I just added some Hula bronzer. Um, I'm wearing the Ofra, this highlight. And then I am wearing my um, Helani blush in Rose d'Oro. And my lipstick is just Lolita by Kat Von D. So this is actually the finished look. It's pretty simple as you guys saw. So yeah, if you guys like this video, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. And then go ahead and let me know in the comments any other looks that you guys want to see. So this is the look. I will be back with more videos for you guys. And I hope you really like this one.